Betty, today we're reacting to a visit from Thomas. Um, I just want to break something up with people when we to react to like something like um, like a Thomas and Friends um special episode or uh, like for example, Thomas and Friends Little Railway Show. I would love to react to those. Believe me, you have no idea. But Canada has stricter copyright laws. And last time I tried to react to a newer episode, I just got completely blocked. And I don't want my YouTube channel to shut down. And I just, so I'm trying the best I can. You know, I, I know it's going to get to the point where I've reacted to every episode. Believe me, I get that. And I'm scared for when that happens. But if that does, when that day does come, I'll just react to something else. Um, like another kid's show that you guys seem to love. Because I, I love Thomas and Friends. You got to know that. Thomas and Friends is one of my favorite shows. It's always been my favorite. Ever since I was a little girl. So... Yeah, I, but I'm going to do everything I can to make you guys happy. But Canada has stricter copyright laws. Like, So, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Oh, I do not own Thomas and Friends. Now we can begin. Preparing the site. A school is the proper use for this land, Sir Topham had said. Woo, a school. Let me show you the football field, said Miss Jenny. Buster was having a wonderful time rolling the earth flat. It'll be a great football field, said Miss Jenny. Great, said Sir Topham Hat. Alfie was happily digging foundation trenches for the school library. It will be a splendid library, said Miss Jenny. Splendid, said Sir Topham Hat. And this will be the swimming pool, she said. She explained that Oliver had to dig carefully. Obviously, a swimming pool must have very straight sides, she said. Obviously, said Sir Topham Hat. Well, he duh. was impressed. Soon, his visit was over, and he was on his way home. Max was becoming impatient. Hurry up, he scowled. But Oliver would not be hurried. He was determined to dig carefully. Suddenly, his bucket hit something hard. He slowly scraped away the earth. Hurry up there, roared Max. But I found something, cried Oliver. Look! Rubbish, sniffed Max. It might be important, said Oliver's operator. I'll call Miss Jenny, said the foreman. And Miss Jenny called Sir Topham Hat. And Sir Topham Hat called the experts. Amazing, said the expert with the red mustache. This is a dinosaur bone. A dinosaur bone, said Ned. Dinosaurs were animals that lived a long time ago, said Miss Jenny. Their bones are all that's left. Well, Oliver, said the expert with the fuzzy beard. I wonder if you'd do some more digging for us. Yes, sir, beamed Oliver. He was excited. Soon, the experts roped off the area. Oliver changed over to his smallest chisel. This job called for delicate digging. Soon, Oliver it's a stegosaurus! No, not stegosaurus. Uh, crap. Triceratops, my bad. And some more. I, why did I do that? He had uncovered the skeleton of a whole dinosaur. It's a Triceratops. I mix Triceratops and Stegosaurus up. This is an important day for the island of Sodor, said Sir Topham Hat. Thanks to Oliver's careful digging, said Miss Jenny. It makes me proud to be an excavator, said Alfie. A man with a camera even took Oliver's picture. Woo! The next morning, 
Thomas puts her Topham hat to the yards. It seems we have a celebrity here, he said. It's Oliver, said Ned. With his dinosaur, said Jack. The front page, no less, said Miss Jenny. Oliver was proud. I can't believe I said Stegosaurus. That was so embarrassing. Oh, I remember I used to have this plush dinosaur. Um, I don't know what ever happened to it, but I loved it when I was little. I never stopped playing with it, but I think it's long gone because, you know, I miss that dinosaur. But you get the point. I love dinosaurs, and they were really cute. Heck, I even love the movie Disney's Dinosaurs because it's about dinosaurs. Uh, I'm funny. <laughs> Anyways, I can't believe I mixed them up. Oh, that's embarrassing. Anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. Um, I will continue to react to Thomas and Friends episodes, whether someone made up their own story or if it's an episode from the TV show. I will do everything I can to keep this going. I am not shutting down my YouTube channel, and I never will. Anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. This is KBR101, signing out. Adios, everybody!